Hi Leo, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, we are going to do uh, your mid-month reading here. This is uh, May 15th through the 31st. Please know that timing is flexible. If you're here, you were here, you know, drawn to this reading for a reason. So don't get too hung up on the timing. Everything you need to know is in the description box. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that information is below. All right. So let's get started here. But I also want to say thank you for all of your likes, shares, subscribing to my channel, and connecting with me. I do appreciate you. So thank you. And let's see what we have. Okay. Interesting. So two cards here. We have number 63, which is nine, and we have the vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. Okay. What I'm getting uh, with this energy is that I feel like what they're saying, Leo, whatever your situation is, you have all the tools and resources you need, right? Whether it's to make decisions, whether it's to take action, uh, this is a love reading, so um, depending on your situation, they're letting you know that you have all the resources that it takes, right, to make things happen. It's also an energy here of, uh, you know, a point in your life where, you know, you're wanting to feel content, right, in your situation, okay? You have here number 34, uh, which is seven, which is the hummingbird spirit. Be here now, okay? So it's a really nice energy here. Like I said, I feel there's an energy that you have what it takes. Uh, it feels like you're ready when it comes to love. This is about being in the present. This is a really nice manifestation energy. Uh, also, too, if you're seeing a lot of hummingbirds, this may be write a message uh, from spirit here, kind of giving you that validation or reminder here. So be in the present. Don't uh, think too much about the future or too much about the past because you're really going to manifest, right, what you want in your life, right? By being in that present moment um, and, and enjoying the other things around you when it comes to life. And I'm just going to say the next card you have here is the cow spirit the miracles are endless so we'll put that card down here as well i'm going to try and fix it so you can see it all right so really nice energy there okay so let's uh pull some major arcana cards I'm pulling two major arcana cards for you leo let's see what else comes out for you feels like something nice is oh look at that the magician I was just saying here I felt that energy here that you have everything that it takes to make things happen in your life there's some sort of new beginning that's about to happen to you with the vulture spirit and the magician the magician is about also manifestation which I was talking about but it's also about knowing that you have all the tools and resources you need to make things happen in your life and i'm just gonna say with this infinity symbol here right uh the possibilities are endless and we just had this card here miracles are endless so wow so on point for your reading leo let's see what else we have here look at that the empress wow another uh energy here where the empress is somebody who is very right very abundant Somebody who uh, thinks, you know, the empress knows what it takes, right, to manifest. And the empress here is very abundant. And I'm just going to say here, look at that, the sun card. I'm going to put, we're going to make it even here, okay? You have the sun card, beautiful energy. Oh my gosh, Leo. And this is your energy as well, okay? So there's something happening. There's something in the works here. Uh, Leo, that I think you're going to feel very content about. Definitely showing me that you are manifesting some sort of new beginning that's bringing a, a lot of uh, happiness, joy. Uh, so if you've been in a place where you feel, you know, that things aren't that way, uh, look out. <laughs> so let's pull your tarot cards. Let's see what else comes out for you. I just have to say, just those... Those cards alone are beautiful. And with the Empress, it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. So let's see here. We have the Four of Earth. We have the Five of Fire. 
we have the Queen of Air. We have the Six of Fire. Very nice there in that position. And let's pull one more. Um, look at that, the Nine of Water. And I was feeling that energy too with the um, the uh, vulture, vulture Spirit here, okay? On the bottom of the deck here, you have the Eight of Water. So you have the Eight of Water and the Nine of Water. So I'm gonna call off the signs. Uh, know that roles and energies can be reversed. We will clarify some of these cards. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have here Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We basically have all the energies, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, all right? So let's start with this Four of Earth, all right? I feel, Leo, this is an energy that when it comes uh, to love here, right, whether you're thinking about somebody or you're not, I feel some of you may be uh, hoping for a situation to work out. For others, this can be just, you know, wanting uh, a new love, right, a new start here. But I feel with this Four of Pentacles, I feel it's an energy where you've kind of been conservative when it comes to love. I feel like Maybe you've been holding yourself back, whether it's holding back because there's somebody on your mind or whether it's just, you know, it could be you're focused on your money, your career uh, type of energy. We'll clarify uh, and we'll see what that's about. Now in the center of your energy, you have the five of fire. So I feel it's a situation here where maybe there is a little bit internal struggle uh, I feel that internal struggle is because with the queen of air, I feel that you are trying to protect your heart here. You're trying to make good choices, logical choices, uh, can be, you know, a lot of thinking going on here that's causing the internal struggle. That's why they're saying be in the here now, because that's how you're going to manifest. All right. But we're going to clarify the cards uh, and see what this energy is about. This can be your person too, right? Somebody, for those of you who are dealing with a particular person, this could be, you know, uh, somebody who's been holding back, right? Who's been struggling here. But you have in your foundation, you have the six of fire, all right? So the foundation here is what's holding things together. It's telling me there's a victory. Remember these cards that you have here. There's a victory here, I feel, in sight for you. Uh, we're going to clarify these cards, like I said. You also have here the nine of water. Look at that, all right? So this is the top of your spread. It's the outcome position here. So I feel there's some sort of wish Something here that is about to begin that you're going to feel really good and content about, right? You're manifesting some sort of new beginning in love here. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you have the eight of water and you have the three of fire. Okay, what I get with these two energies is I feel that... Some of you may be waiting for a particular situation to work out between you and someone. For others, I feel the energy here that this is you really exploring other alternatives, right? Maybe putting yourself out there, right? Looking at the possibilities because I do get, oh, look at this, a very, very confident energy here, Leo. Very assertive go after what you want type of energy. Like I said, you have all the tools and resources to make things happen. And look at that, you have the fortune's wheel. Okay, so I feel there's going to be a shift in the energy here upcoming. And if I didn't say it already, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box um, if you want to, to uh, check out the extended. Okay, so... I'm going to clarify first the center here, the five of fire. Let's see what this struggle is. Why is the five of fire here? This could be you or it could be your person. It could be both as well, but let's see here. We have the king of swords. We have the seven of pentacles. Oh, look at that. Queen of wands. You're showing up again there. And the five of cups. All right. I feel there's an energy here that there is somebody I feel around you um, who is struggling, okay? It feels like this person is thinking a lot about you. They're, they're reflecting here, okay, about 
um, communication right there's some sort of communication I feel that this person wants to have with you now for some of you I feel like there this could be somebody you know where there was some sort of disappointment uh, the Queen of Swords here again so I feel like there could have even been an argument or maybe you set uh, your boundaries with this person or you said something to this person has really made them think um, but um, you know or you may have cut this person out of your life but other than that, it may be also, too, that this person is seeing you as very um, confident, assertive, attractive, and I feel like this person may be struggling, may even be feeling like there's competition here. So let's clarify some of these other cards. There's definitely somebody here that is thinking about you that wants to invest um, in something here with you, okay, because everybody, it's going to be different. Let's uh, clarify here the six of fire. Why is the six of fire here? There's a there's an end goal here, I feel, with the six of fire. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the ace of cups, the death card, strong Scorpio energy, uh, the hierophant, and the chariot. Bottom of the deck here, we have the queen of pentacles. Yeah, you got an offer here. You got a love uh, offer coming in for you, and this is something I feel that's going to move towards uh, commitment, even marriage for some of you, all right? That's the victory here. There's definitely an energy of uh, somebody here wanting to offer their love to you, unconditional love. Now, for some of you, this is a, a renewal, I'm going to say, because you also have the death card. It shows me there's an energy here of things changing, things transforming here. That could be for some of you a miracle. Maybe there was somebody here in your life that you thought things wouldn't work out and you may have even moved on from this person. But some of you, I feel this is a new love, right? There's, it's a new beginning here, right? And, you know, after, you know, with the death card, you could have recently come out of another relationship, but you have here the Hierophant and you have the Chariot. Strong Taurus, strong Cancerian energy. We also have strong Scorpio. So this is, uh, this is a situation where the person here that I feel is coming towards you wants a victory, right? There's a goal in mind here. This person has spent a lot of time, a lot of time thinking. They're showing up here as the king of swords. So this person thinks a lot. They may not express a lot with their feelings, their emotions, but they definitely think a lot right and they're thinking about you because you're showing up here as that queen of wands and the queen of air here so let's clarify uh why is the queen of air here please why is the queen of air here please all right we have the yeah the uh three of swords the two of swords the star card strong aquarius energy we'll get one more three of pentacles okay yeah, you know, I'm really picking up strongly and the devil card. Okay, strong Capricorn. I'm really picking up strongly that, um, and this may not be resonate, resonate with everybody. Um, I'm picking up strongly that this is somebody who, uh, for some of you, somebody here that you already know, okay? And you may feel like this is somebody who is a temptation for you. You may feel that this is somebody who's not serious. You may feel that this person is all about the intimacy. Or there may be something about this person that you see that uh, looks to you that may be unhealthy. It could be addictions. It could be maybe you feel this person is a player right and it is all about the intimacy like i said but you could also see this person as somebody who is very controlling okay even manipulative but there's something here about the situation that is causing you to hold back so i feel like you know with this four of pentacles like i said i feel like you're holding back because of a broken heart so for some of you you know it could be a um a new person, like I said, it could also be somebody here that you know. And it may be that you're, you know, you could be also uh, obsessively thinking about this. Maybe even trying to control things a little bit to protect your heart here with that Two of Swords and the 
uh, Three of Swords, but you do have here the Star card and you also have here the Three of Pentacles. It tells me here that there is hope, right? There is hope. Uh, I feel, you know, this can be an indication that a healing needs to take place, whether, you know, it's so that you can entertain new love or it can be also uh, a healing between you and somebody here that I see. So let's clarify why the nine of water is here. Okay. In the extended, we will look at what your person's thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, love notes, and guidance. Why is the nine of water here, please? Why is the nine of water here, please? Okay. We have the four of cups. We have the seven of swords, 10 of swords, Nine of Cups again, because we got the Nine of Cups again, I'm going to pull another card. Five of Pentacles, okay, and Four of Swords. Yeah, this is really feeling uh, like somebody here you dealt with in the past, okay? So some of you, you know, um, it feels like maybe some time has passed here with this person. That's what I feel, you know, the energy I'm getting here. And maybe you did hope for this situation to work out for a long time. But now I feel here you're not too sure, okay? Because I do see an offer here, right? Here's that Ace of Cups. The universe is giving this another chance, right? Another chance, a renewal here. Now, I'm going to say here for some of you, it can be new love, right? It can be new love here. Uh, but there's hesitation. There's definitely hesitation about this, okay? Okay. This may be something that you wish for, and now that it's here, it feels uncertain, I just have to say, because you have the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, okay? I feel for some of you, there could be some worry here, you know, um, that the same situation can happen, right? Whether, you know, it's with somebody returning or whether, you know, you've been in some bad relationships. I feel like you're in a place in life where you're feeling very content, okay, with other things in your life, okay? And I feel like that's why you're uncertain here, okay? You do have the Nine of Cups again here as well. So an offer is being presented here for some. Um, I feel that it's from somebody here from the past. It could be somebody who you felt betrayed you, right? Uh, maybe things ended uh, and maybe you felt abandoned from this person. But for others, when it comes to new love, I feel it's an energy that, um, you know, you may just be content with other things in your life here, okay? But I feel like there is some sort of wish. The Ace of Cups is my wish card, all right? This is in your foundation, that does look potentially strong, right, in your foundation for a new beginning here. I'm going to say, you know, whether it's a new person or somebody here from your past. So I'm going to take this to the extended Leo. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.